Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class is all about factors of difference of two squares using algebraic types. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we proceed to our examples class, I have here some following algebraic types. This is x squared, this is positive x, and this will be positive 1. This is negative x squared, this is negative x, this will be negative 1. So let me just explain this one class. Why do we call this one x squared? Now, this is x squared plus because the length of this one, the length is x, and then the width is x. Now, if you want to get the area, simply multiply the length and the width. x times x, that would be x squared, right? That's why plus we call this one x squared because the length is x, the width is x. If you want to get the measure or the area, simply multiply the length and the width, x times x, that would be x squared. So that's why we call this one x squared. So this is x squared. This one is x. Now, sir, why do we call this one x? Because the length is x and then the width is 1. If you multiply x times 1 or 1 times x, there will be 1x. Or that's the same with x. So this is x. Once again, this is x squared. This is x. This will be positive 1. Now, why is it positive 1, sir? The length is 1. The width is 1. 1 times 1, there would be positive 1. Okay, so once again, plus this is x squared, positive x squared. This is positive x. This will be positive 1. Now, if you rotate this one, the algebraic tile, if you rotate this one, we have negative x squared, the red one. This is negative x squared. If you rotate this one, this is negative x. So this is negative x squared for the red one. This is negative x. If you rotate this one, this will be negative 1. Okay, once again, the blue one, this one a while ago, this is positive x squared for the blue one. For the green one, this is positive x, and this will be positive 1 for the yellow one. So let's have example number 1 plus applying the algebraic task. So let's proceed now to example number 1. Alright, so let's start with example number 1. Our given, we have x squared minus 4. So we have 1x squared, positive 1x squared. So we have 1x squared and then negative 4. So negative 4 times, therefore, we'll be using the red one. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Alright, so this will be our guide. Put this one on the corner. Now, if you have example like this class, you have x squared and then the number directly. Now, this number class, you put it on the corner of this given x squared. You put it here. So, we can divide this one by 2. Alright, so this will be x squared minus 4. Now, can we form a rectangle now? Nope. This is not yet a rectangle. Now, the thing that we need to do class is we need to add x. Now, question class, if I will be adding x, positive and then negative x, what will be the answer class? If I will be combining positive x and then negative x, what's the answer class? Positive x combined with negative x. What will be the answer class? x plus negative x. What's the answer? That's correct. That would be 0, right? We can just simply cancel this out. This is 0. So, therefore, we can add negative x here and then positive x on the bottom part. That's okay. The expression is still the same with x squared minus 4. Once again, class, do not be confused, class. x squared minus 4. Okay, once again, this is minus 4. This is x squared, right? x squared minus 4, and then we add negative x, and then we add positive x. Now, question, if I will be removing this one. Now, question, if I will be removing this one, this is x squared minus 4, right? Now, if we will be adding this one, negative x, and then positive x, what will be the answer? Is this the same with x squared minus 4? Yup, this is just the same with x squared minus 4 because negative x plus x, this is 0, right? This is 0 plus negative x plus x, that would be equal to 0. So, we can add negative x and then positive x. And then we can add another negative x and then positive x. Now, question, can we form a rectangle now? Yup, we can form a perfect rectangle. So, this will be our rectangle. And then, the factors, let's simply get the measure of the width and then the length, and that will be the factors. Once again, class, we add positive 2x, and then this will be negative 2x. If you combine positive 2x, and then combine with negative 2x, of course, there will be 0. So, therefore, it's okay to add, class, as long as it is 0. Alright, so therefore, to find the factor, simply get the measure of the width and then the measure of the length. So this will be our guide. Once again, what will be the measure of this one? What will be the measure of this one? The same measure with this one. 
That's correct. That would be positive 1, right? Since this is positive 2x, the measure of this 1 plus, once again, plus the measure of this 1, the width, this is the same measure with positive 1. Once again, plus this is the same measure with positive 1. So 1 and then another 1. So what will be the measure of this 1 plus? That's correct. That would be the same measure with x. So this will be x plus 2, right? So this is x and this will be positive 2. Now question sir, why is it positive 2? Because this is positive 2x. So that's why we have positive 2. And then this one, this is x. Once again, plus this is positive x because this is positive x squared. So this is green, positive x. And then the measure of this one, once again, plus the measure of this one, this one right here, the measure of the length, this one is negative 1, right? This is negative 2x, so therefore we will be using negative 1. So this is negative 1 and another negative 1. And that's it, plus this will be our factors, plus we have x and then positive 2. The other one we have x and then negative 2. So therefore the factors, we have x plus 2 and the other one we have x minus 2. That's it, plus. That's the answer, plus with regards to example number 1. We have x plus 2. The other one, we have x minus 2. All set. Using algebraic tests. That's the answer class with regards to example number 1. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 2. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 2. So our given, we have 1x squared. So this is x squared, positive x squared. Yep. 1x squared. So understood that there's 1 here, right? So this will be equal to 1x squared. And then we have negative 9, so therefore we need to use red tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So we can group this one by 3, right? 1, so put this one on the corner. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and then 3, 1, 2, and then 3. Alright, and then, once again, we cannot form a rectangle yet, so therefore we need to add x. So we can add 3x here, negative 3x. So 1, 2, and then negative 3x. So we have negative 3x. Therefore, we need to add positive 3x here. Because negative 3x combined with positive 3x, that would be equal to 0. The expression is still the same. Once again, that's x squared minus 9 and then we add negative 3x and then we add positive 3x here so x squared minus 9 minus 3x plus 3x we can just simply cancel this out so the expressions class is still the same x squared minus 9 okay so therefore we can add positive 3x here that's okay all right so 2 so 2x and then 3x now can we form a perfect rectangle yup we can form a perfect rectangle. So this will be a square or rectangle. Alright, and therefore this is negative 9. This is negative 3x. This is positive 3x. So what will be the measure with this one class? With regards to this one, with regards to the width, so we have x. So this is x. And then we have another x. So this is x. Since this is positive x squared, so therefore we'll be using positive x. Positive x, positive x. And the measure with this one plus, once again, plus, with regards to this one, this will be positive 1, same measure. So this will be positive 1, another positive 1, another positive 1. Alright, and then this one, this is, we have negative 1, negative 2, and then negative 3. Alright, so therefore, plus the factors, we have x. And then we have positive 3, so 1, 2, 3, so we have positive 3. x plus 3, the other one we have x, and then 1, 2, 3, we have negative 3. x minus 3, that's it, that's all set. So therefore the factors, we have x plus 3, x plus 3, and the other one we have x minus 3. Okay, let me just arrange this one, yep, we have x plus 3 and then x minus 3. That's it, class. That's the answer, class, with regards to example number 2. So, our factors, we have x plus 3. The other one, we have x minus 3. All set. 
whole set class. That's the answer class with regards to example number two. So let's proceed now to last example, example number three. Alright, so we're down to the last example class, example number three. So our given, we have 4x squared minus 9. So we have 4x squared, so 1x squared, 2x squared, alright, and then 3x squared, and then 4x squared. So therefore, we can group this one, 2 by 2. So 1, 2, 3, alright, and then 4, yep, we have 4x squared. Alright, and then we have negative 9. So, we have negative 9. Alright, so 1, 2, 3. So, we don't have enough space, class. Alright, so let me just move this one. 2, 6. Okay, we can group this one by 3. 7, 8. And then 9. Alright, so once again, plus. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, and then we can add this one. We can add the x here. Okay. Let's do it step by step. Yep, we can add the x here. So 1. 2, we can have negative here, that's okay. So negative 1, negative 2, and then negative 3. Locking, right? You need to form a rectangle. This is not yet a rectangle. Put another one. We have this one. So negative 4, negative 5, and then negative 6. So therefore, we need to put negative 6x. So this is negative 6x. Alright, so let me just arrange this one plus. Alright, so therefore in the bottom part, we need to add positive 6x. So this is negative 6x. So therefore, this is negative 9. So therefore, we need to add positive 6x. So 1, 1x, 2x, and then 3x. So we can put it here. Do it step by step plus. Alright, and need another one, one, so locking, so we need to add more, locking two, so let's have this one, okay, locking two, x, one, and then two. Alright, so can we form a perfect rectangle? Yep, we form a perfect rectangle, so therefore... What will be the measure of the width? So our width, we have x. So this is x, right? The measure of this one, same measure. Once again, class. Same measure with regards to this one, class. This is x, right? Same measure, class. Check this one out, class. Same measure, right? Yep, this is x and then another x. Now, with regards to this one, class, the horizontal line, the measure of this one, what will be the same measure, class? That's correct, right? This will be positive 1, same measure, class. Check this one out, class. Same measure. So this is positive 1. Positive 1, and then positive 1. Alright, on the top part, we have x, another x, another x, and then we have negative 1, negative 1, and then negative 1. That's it, plus. So therefore, our width, we have 2x. So our width, we have 2x, 1x, and then 2x. So this is 2x. And then plus 3. So we have positive 3. So 2x plus 3. The other one, we have 2x. So 1x, 2x, 2x, minus 3. That's it. Plus. So therefore, our factor, that would be 2x plus 3. And then the other one, we have 2x minus 3. That's it. Plus. All set. That's the answer, class, with regards to example number 3 using algebraic types. All set, class. So once again, class, I hope you're not confused, class. Sir, why is it 2x? The measure of this length, class, there would be x and another x. x plus x, there would be 2x, right? Now, the measure with regards to this one, class, the length of this one, with regards to the width, this one right here, class, this is positive 1. Same measure, class, with regards to positive 1. That's why we put yellow, positive 1, positive 2, and then positive 3. So that's why we have positive 3. On the top, there would be 2x, and then this is negative 1, negative 2, same measure class. 
With regards to this one, this is negative 1, same measure. With regards to the width, so negative 1, negative 2, and then negative 3. That's why we have negative 3. All set. That's the answer test with regards to example number 3. 2x plus 3. The other one, we have 2x minus 3. Alright, so how about you try this one, class? And then you put your answer on the comment section down below. Let me check, class, if you really understand our topic. So you factor this out, class, and then you put your answer in the comment section down below. So once again, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.